Hey guys, what's up? So we're going to just do uh, and jump straight into the Instagram layout day. It's day 10. Uh, we're going to go through everything to do with Instagram layouts and feeds. Um, there's lots of stuff that you can talk about with feeds. You can talk about what design you want to do. You can talk about the different templates that you can try and follow. And in the write-up of this post I'm going to do afterwards, I'm going to throw in a couple of different templates that you can use, which is uh, if you want to emulate people who've had really good success. Some of them have got black and white pictures. Some of them put white borders around the things. Some of them even do these like crazy collages where they put the pictures together. You'd have to be pretty good at Photoshop or Lightroom to do something like that. I don't know how to do that, so we're not going to go into it. But today got my friend Cece and Julie who we're gonna just quiz on a couple of questions. Julie is the fit gypsy in the group if you don't know her already. She's gonna have a couple of questions for Cece along me, uh, alongside me. We haven't prepared these questions, we're just gonna try and go with it off the top of our head and see what works out best. But yeah, Cece, introduction. Oh. Hey, Hello. how's it going? Are you good? Yeah, I've never fine. done one of these like interview style things before, so it should be quite interesting. But yeah, basically we're just gonna uh, what we're gonna do for the whole video is we're just gonna run through what CC does on her feed because I looked at it the first time and thought it was really kind of like aesthetic. Looks nice, right? Thank you. Nice pictures. They're bright. They all kind of flow together. Um, so we're just gonna kind of walk in CC's shoes in terms of what she does. We're gonna look at what she does with her pictures, how she edits them. We're going to go through all that kind of cool stuff. So what we'll do at the same time is we'll do a little screen recording on CC's phone. It's really loud here in Thailand, by the way. It's not yeah. optimal for any videos. Perfect. And, uh, and basically, she's just going to show us what she does on her phone um, so you guys can kind of get an idea of the editing process. So do you want to just give us a quick introduction about yourself and tell us where you're from, what you do, like what's the crack? <laughs> so yours. Okay, yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Cecilia, or CC or CC as you call me. CC. Uh, yeah, I'm from Finland, but I'm a Swedish-speaking Finn, so my main language is Swedish. Um, yeah, what do you want to know about me? I mean, like a bit of background about CC and kind of why I think she's good at this, but she will deny it, is that uh, her yeah. dad does photography, so I guess yeah. you've kind of been brought up with knowing what a good picture looks like, right? Yeah, Which hopefully I sort of got that eye, like, yeah. of how, like just the angle maybe, and Technically, like I, I'm not a photographer. I have no idea how to use a, like a real camera. Yeah, but you know what a good picture looks like. Yeah, right? I know what it looks like. Yeah, because it's funny because we went to a restaurant and she was rearranging all the food and like putting it, looking at the top down and like mixing stuff around. So she definitely got an eye for this stuff. So yeah, yeah we'll just dive straight into it, huh? So um, we're just gonna pull up Cece's phone right okay, now. Okay, yeah. Have you got the screen? Should I show my? On? Okay, so this is my Instagram. Uh, can you see it? I'm gonna bring up a picture of that on the screen if it doesn't yeah. come up anyway. Well, um, but just it's real quick, and you have the screen recording as well. Yeah, so make sure to turn the screen yes. recording on because that's one thing I didn't do when I just recorded the video a minute ago. <laughs> um, so just run through, like, so with your feed, what kind of style do you go for with all of your pictures on there? Do they go for a dark style or light style? Well, I always uh, strive to have them really light. Light pictures? As possible as one can. Okay. But the thing is, though, that if you make them way too light, they will look like like not good. I'm yeah. not gonna be able to explain that, but I think you know what I mean. <laughs> there might be slight language barriers throughout this. Yes. <laughs> okay. So like oversaturated or something. It's just it yeah. looks too like exactly. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. It's just looks shit. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. You guys know how I talk about this stuff. It just looks shit. Okay. Cool. So um so obviously this is CC's feed. So if you want to just scroll up and down dead quick so people can have a oh, quick yeah, look first. through. So the kind I'm of pictures she does are uh, they're all kind of light. They look real nice. Um. Hey Julie, you're joining in? Oh, so, uh, so they're all kind of follow a similar kind of theme. Um, so in terms of like the pictures that you would choose to put up, so if we just go to the top of your feed right now. Yeah. So the last couple of pictures you've taken have obviously been in Thailand. I'd just like to take photo credit for this one. This was me that took the picture <laughs> on this one. Lindsay was in the background, my sister kind of getting one as well. But I remembered, I, I looked at her feed the other day and I went, Yo, what the fuck? That picture does not look like how I took it. Yeah. What, right? So yeah. you've changed it? You've made some edits to it? Yeah. Okay. Can you find the original picture in your phone and pull it up? Probably I can, yes. Okay. So let's find the original one. Scroll through all the selfies. Yes. On my a million say of the selfies. Okay, let's see. I had that one. There. All right, cool. So here, so this one right here, this is the picture that I took, which if you guys have noticed, I don't know if you saw the picture that was just up there a second ago, it looks a little bit different, right? Yeah. Okay, so what would you do to that picture and what did you do to that picture to change it? Oh, I actually had a hard time uh, with this picture. I didn't, it didn't end up the way I wanted it to. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> bad example, guys. Terrible photographer. My bad. Okay. <laughs> but of course, I can make it a little bit better. 
So first of all, like when I edit my pictures, I never put filters on first. That's what I do in the end, if needed. So you're talking about filters within Instagram now, right? Yeah. Okay. I just edit them. So on you do the filters at the very end. Yeah. That's interesting because I do it the other way around, which is probably mm -hmm. online suck. Right. Seriously? Yeah, obviously. Well, we don't know. We're, okay, you're okay, the expert. Okay. Whoa! Right? <laughs> Julie's, Julie's joining the pie, by the way. This is Julie, guys. She's like, this one. She asks some questions and then we don't like. She's probably going to cut the picture, but now she doesn't like it. Okay. okay, yeah. So. So you add the filters as the last thing? Yes. Okay, cool. And, okay, yeah. I'm going to get to the filters later. Sure. Let's do the editing part first. Okay. First. So I always begin with brightness. Okay. And I uh, make it as bright as possible. But really? this is. This is how you see it. This does not look good. Yeah, I mean, you guys can see this on the screen now. Yeah. Like, it's a pretty bright picture. It looks yeah. a little bit excessive. But you always do it to the maximum? As, like, as bright as possible, but never to the maximum. Okay, as bright as possible, but so that it doesn't look weird. Yeah, but brightness is just one part of making it brighter. Because, okay. okay, so first brightness, and then I sharpen it just a little bit. Okay. Not too much, because that looks Yeah, really it looks weird. weird. Okay. Uh, but just a little bit more sharp, sharpened to make it look like a little bit more professional. Okay. Like that is not taken with the phone camera, but I always take my sure. pictures with well, my I phone. Well, I didn't realize if people don't know, looking at Cece's feed, all the pictures she takes, apart from the one in the bathtub, which was done by her dad, they're no, all. No, it isn't. You did that <laughs> with your phone. Oh my phone? god. Is that a normal one? That's not taken by my dad. Oh really? The one with you and your cousin? It's, it's taken by a camera, but not oh, by my dad. Just not by a dad. I think you think that that's up, you know? Oh really? Okay, it wasn't done by a dad. You guys will see if you scroll down. This, it's a cool picture. But her dad is a professional anyway. photographer. Right? Okay, cool. So Back fun. on track. Okay, anyway. yeah, okay. So make it as bright as possible. Yes, right? and how to make it even brighter is by shadows. Okay. Um, I always, when I do these things, I go to the maximum on one side and on the other side. Just, just to see, see the difference? Just to see the difference. Okay, that's cool. And the thing is that right now, it actually would look better to not making it the shadows go away, but to make the picture brighter, Oh, I I'm see. gonna do it anyways, but you can see this looks really bad. Yeah, it looks a little bit weird. This is what I, what I meant with making a picture look bright. Okay. This okay. is really bad. Um, because it looks like you have like something on your camera or something. Sure. But, so I try to make it a little bit more like making the shadows go away. Okay. And then highlights. Here I'm actually not always putting it uh, on this side. Okay. Because sometimes it actually can look better doing it the other way around. Yeah, right, it looks better the other Like way. this picture could actually be better like this. Because everything's just looks really yeah. weird. Like now, a little trick for you guys, if you didn't know this about Instagram, is while you're playing around with the settings in here, if you actually press your finger on the picture, it will show you, uh, when you yeah. get done there, it will show you the old pit version against the new version. So if you want to see what the difference is in the camera picture, so you can see here just a couple of edits that she's made, it makes it like, that much brighter, right? Which is what we're trying to go for. So yeah. that's a cool tip to use if you're trying to compare where you, you know, what you've changed. Yeah. And uh, to make my pictures more colorful, mm -hmm. I always go for saturation. Saturation. Uh, saturation. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, and I never make it that much. It's always like a ten. tiny bit. So oversaturation as well, guys. I did some research on this. Oversaturated images, when you put the saturation up really high, you don't get as high engagement as pictures which have lower levels of saturation. So you know, it's cool, like you're saying, not to go over the top because it looks fake, right? If you put too much saturation really on, it looks stupid. So don't do that. Yeah. And uh, on the warmth, I honestly don't remember what I did with this picture though. But I on normal, I put it a little bit to the cold side okay. or the cool side. Yeah, so I guess you just want to be consistent with this, right? So if you always do it yeah. in one way, you always try and make your pictures the same. Yeah. Okay. I And at some points, I actually make it as cold as possible in the picture because then you make it even brighter. Okay. Uh, the warmth is going to bring out the colors more and the cold is going to make it... So rude. Hi, people. Can't so, we see we're so trying to make a video here? Come on, guys. <laughs> Yeah, so you have Okay, to make so it the cold, cold is gonna make the picture look more fresh. Okay. And more bright. So I didn't I, know. Yeah. Uh, and let's see if I do anything else. Sometimes I play with the contrast, not that often. Color I actually put a little bit of purple in. Oh really? Yeah. What? Not in every picture, but normally because you can um in especially in selfies. Yeah. 
I put just like, a little bit of purple in because you can normally see like uh, my hair turning a little bit green okay. or the wall being a little bit green behind and like you actually need to have a trained eye to see it uh -huh. because you don't see it unless you put the uh, purple, you in. purple in. Or yeah, and you, and then you, you can, can see experiment. it. Yeah, you can experience with different colors. Like sometimes I put blue, uh, pink, or whatever. Wow. Okay. I can show you some of the pictures where I actually done this, but just like a little bit. Yeah, just to add that. Hint of yeah, color. just to add that little hint of color, color, because then the greenish is gonna go away. Cool. I've never done that before. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Every day is school day. We're not gonna day. put it here though. Uh, did I miss something? Okay, yeah, and, and so now we did the editing part, and okay. yeah, of course, this one will... Whoops. Wow, I didn't know that existed. Do you want to go back onto that? Did you miss that one? How do you do it? So, at the top? Oh, wow. Okay, so what does Lux do? I didn't know, honestly. It's sort of Don't like, worry, guys, I'm just running an Instagram uh, challenge. I don't know how to use Instagram. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. It's sort of like contrast, but in a different way. I okay. actually don't really know what it's doing, but you can see... Wow. Yeah, this is where it, the change happens in this picture. Okay. It brightens right the yeah. fuck up. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, this, w this was the... Uh, savior in this picture, it saved this picture. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now if we compare that like to what it was originally, I mean you see the difference now, it's so much brighter, right? Yeah. It brings out all the colors and that actually looks more like all the rest of the pictures that you have in your feed. Yeah. Cool. And then lastly, I chose one filter. I actually normally go with this one. Clarendon? Yeah. Cool. Just cause, because of the cold color again, because right? wow. it makes it a lot more Look brighter. at the difference in that. I, I Obviously, you guys can see this on the screen. I'm just going to look down here to see the difference. Wow, that's huge. That's yeah. a big difference. Um, but I never, never use a full filter. Oh, Always. so you can turn the filter down? Yeah. I didn't know that either. So oh how, do you, how do you do that? You're learning so much today. I'm, just, I'm learning okay, so much. So what you do is you press a filter once. Take a filter. Twice. Wow. And then you turn it down because this looks so fake. Yeah, it's over processed. Yeah, because yeah. this is why I don't usually use Instagram filters because they're all a little overbearing. It looks super fake. Right? But if you just use it a little bit, perfect. Wow. And then if we compare that again, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, but this cool. doesn't look like way too... Not too over the top, right? Yeah. As easy as that. Done. Wow. There you go. So, uh, so that's really cool. Is there any other tips that you do to like edit your video or pictures before you put them up? Uh, let's see. Where am I? I need to see on my look at my picture. So yeah, if we compare that to that picture now. Yeah, now we can see <coughs> that's a lot brighter, right? Yeah. And that's kind of what you just created using those edits. Yes. So let's see. Uh, what did you just ask? If I'm doing anything. Yeah, what else do you do? So for example, that's with bright pictures. Yeah. So let's say for example this picture, which is the which is a sunset in the evening, how would you edit like a picture like that? Would you edit it differently? Or would you use the same kind of process? I'm still using the same process. Mm -hmm. That's like the different editing things that we went through is that the things that I'm always um, working with. Yeah. And I'm just looking like how to how much I can push it. Yeah like the brightness and the shadows and highlights so like a, that's the most important things that i'm working with for a darker picture that's in the evening do you still try and make it brighter yeah okay this picture is actually the original it's a lot more darker okay this is going to be a good comparison let's get rid of the selfie <laughs> let's see where i have it is it maybe this one wow yeah so that's that's a really dark picture <laughs> Yeah. That's a lot more darker. Yeah. Can we compare it back to the other one again? If we cancel out of that? Yeah, wow. Okay, so that's a lot brighter, right? Yeah. But cool. I'm not actually changing that much in this picture because it was good at, as it was. Yeah. And I didn't, hotels I didn't add, add any way, filter Great on job. this one. Yeah, no filter added on it? Yeah. You just, you just made the changes? I just edited it. Cool. Like okay. more shadows and... Yeah, brightness. Mm. So that's the main things you do for the V to try and make it look consistent. Yeah. You just have them all doing the same kind of Yeah, lines. sort of, yeah. Okay. Because that's what I mean if you go back to the feed again and look at some of these pictures. I mean especially ones like we see this one here, which is that top down one from the notebook. That's like a really bright one that stands out. And then this obviously you've got the white one here, but especially with this one where you're posing with the, the light in the background. Yeah. That's again you've got a lot of white space in it, right? Yeah. Do you do this on purpose to try and keep it because if you look all down the side here on the left, all three of these pictures have got a lot of white in the background, yes. right? 
And did you do that on purpose when you took yeah. the pictures? So would you say that some of that is to do with how you take the photo as well? Be like conscious of the feed? Yeah, so uh, in my feed I'm trying to, first of all, like you see here that I have a lot of green pictures. Yeah. Next, But I don't put them next to each other. Sure. Okay, here I had to do it. Uh, but you can see like um, here down here I have like this part up here looks really bad. Okay, because they're why? Why because do you think Because they're looks bad? similar. All of them are similar, and then they're super close to each other. Okay. Also, that this one here up in the corner is uh, super like it's happening too much in the picture. Yeah. As well as this one, and this one, it's yeah. happening it's way too much. It's almost like too much, much going yes. on. Yes. Okay. And having those ones close to each other makes it all like it's way too much for the brain. Yeah. So instead, I'm using here like food pictures. Sure. And Where it's just a small focal yeah, point and lots of white especially space. Especially like these ones are perfect because yeah. they like, in a min min minimalistic way, make your feet look really good. Yeah. Like using minimalistic pictures yeah, are you're not perfect. Over, over filling it with yeah. too much stuff. Um, and always, like especially, I've actually done it here with these pictures. I've used white backgrounds for a lot. Yeah, and, and that's funny because when I looked through the feed, I didn't consciously notice that. No. But when you look at it now, you can see the difference between yeah. it, right? Yeah, because like uh, these ones here that don't have a white background are a lot more darker. Yeah. And then it stands ones. out next to the ones with all the white images. Yeah. And how do you get like the white backgrounds? Like, what do you do to find that? Do you find, I a, find white a white wall? wall? Yeah, so you do. Like, okay, that's <laughs> that's one. I have a white wall back at home. Uh -huh. uh, and also a trick is the black and white pictures. Oh, okay. Because then you because here also this is a white wall behind me, but it's not white. Okay. Like this is a white wall. Yeah. But it's not white. How did you do that? Why does it not look white? Because I'm standing at the window to get a better uh, light on my face. Okay. But then again, then the background is going to look dark. Oh, I see. So you kind of have to choose, like, this pi picture is in, it's a little bit blurry. Just fun fact, guys, I can actually do that with my foot behind my head. Just kidding. There's no chance <laughs> that Okay, so this picture is actually taken by a real camera. A real camera. A real not camera. Not just a phone, a real camera. A real camera. Okay. But it's super blurry because the light isn't shining at me, but I have a white wall behind me. Okay. So you actually have to choose, like here, this is taken by my phone, mm -hmm. but it looks a lot more sharpened. Right. And But the background is not white, so you just have to choose. It's funny that you're consciously making that decision, though. And actually, now you say it, now I look through, like at the top of the feed, I'm like, oh yeah, this all looks really nice to go together. And then when you pointed down to that one before where you said the mixture, yeah. you look at that and that you're right, it looks more jumbled, yeah. right? It's kind of a little bit messy, which is how my feed looks, like messy all over the place. <laughs> I'm trying right now to do like a light dark section. So I do a light post and I do a dark post just to see how it goes. Yeah. But definitely the, the all the white stuff looks really, really good. Yeah. Would you say it's more girly to have more white on the feed? What do you think? I see a lot of girls' feeds where they have lots of white in it. That's true. Yeah. Like what what would you as a guy post with I mean, I'm just posting background. pictures of me with like cocktails on the beach and coconuts and stuff. Yeah, like if you're actually having a white background, it's going to show that you're actually trying to take a selfie. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's not for me, but maybe for like somebody else in the group. I mean, if you're just sat on your bed with like a, I don't know, a, a cup of coffee, if they put like a white sheet on the bed, that would look better, for example. Well, uh, like if you see these pictures. Sure. These are not white. Yeah. But they look very bright, right? Yeah, so it's better, but they're still not white. Yeah. Because you can see it, like, compared to the colors up here and down there. That's cool. But it's not, it's still not white. So, yeah, it's gonna help, but... That's interesting. Yeah. Cool. That's kind of what I wanted to get out of this, because understanding how to lay out a feed properly is something yeah. that I haven't really given much thought so far. And you can probably tell if you look at my feed, it doesn't look fantastic <laughs> because of that reason. But actually getting a more consistent following, like when you look at some of these really big accounts, like that exciting adventure girl, uh, what, was her, what was her name, the one you showed me before, where she's on the sand with the blonde hair. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what's her Travel name? Travel in her shoes. Travel in her shoes. That's a great very example famous. of an account. And if you look at her pictures, they all look very consistent, yeah. right, with the feed, Preset. which is similar oh, yeah. to like what you're doing. She's obviously got presets that are looking that way. It just shows you don't have to have expensive camera gear yeah. to have a really great looking feed. It makes yeah. a big difference. And uh, also, um, like to make it colorful and just to keep it interesting, I try to not po post the same sort of pictures 
close to each other. Okay. So I don't have like a billion selfies after one another. Sure. Uh, and food pictures, yeah, they're super good for your feed. Like, look at this one. It's yeah. so colorful. But honestly, no one's going to be bothered looking at a lot of food all the time. Like, no one actually cares about right. what you're eating. Nobody cares about you. So dinner. don't do it, like, all the time. But once in a while, it, it like, brightens it up yeah. a lot. If you've got, like, yeah. Like, this one is perfect. Yeah, especially in your feed there, because if you go back, you can see the pictures around it. There's, there's a lot of white around it. So yeah. that is, like, a focal point. Yeah. Uh, and also just like pictures like the Christmas tree. No. I'm trying to put once in a while pictures like super minimalistic pictures. Yeah. Just like this one. Was that a stock photo? Do you take that with somebody? I took that. That's a friend. That's cool. That's my. That's your hand. That's my that's hand. That's her actual and hand, my guys. Hand. Her actual hand. Yes. That's awesome. Why it looks like a stock photo though. You know the ones you yeah. see where it's like, oh, But shit. that's that's the thing, like I never post pictures like that. That would be super boring. Yeah, right. Like Google But you wanted to add it in there just to what to break up because you knew you had a lot of green pictures coming up or Yeah. I knew that and then I wanted something else. I needed something bright in my feed. That's it's cool. always good. You can always put white pictures in your feed. Really? Yes. They'll, they'll slot in anywhere. Looks good. Yeah, because it's never way too much. Yeah, and also, the, and if you guys didn't know this, the borders in between your feed, they're actually white, right? So the lines that go in between your pictures yeah. and the square, they're white. So white is always going to flow into that quite yes. easily, which is cool. Um, any other things? Do I have any other tips? Sure. By the way, Judy, if you've got any questions, just chime in at any time. I do, but I don't have the screen recorder. It's fine, you don't need the screen recorder. Okay. It's all good. You can just ask a question on camera. So I tried uh, doing this thing like around the Oh, the, the borders? Yeah, but I don't really... You didn't think it worked that well? Well, I've, of course I've used it a lot. Okay. But if you use it, it should be on every picture. Yeah, because here, Cause, yeah, here like it looks here better because it's consistent further yeah. down. But I guess a little bit higher up, it looked a little bit strange because you had yeah. one picture which didn't have it. Yeah. And like at this point here, it looks a little bit strange because some of the pictures below aren't like that, right? Exactly. Here it doesn't really, like here it's okay, but no, I wouldn't really... For me, it did not really work. Cool. Because I want, I want more pictures to be like bigger mm -hmm. and actually have good quality instead of making them smaller. Sure. You want to fill the, the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, now that makes sense when people are scrolling through the Explore feed or if they're scrolling through their home screen. If you've actually got a bigger picture, it's going to take up more of the screen's real estate. If you have a, a narrower picture, then people, as they're scrolling through, are actually seeing less of your picture. So it's good to have a bigger picture in there as well. I read that somewhere online, which is cool. I mean, that's pretty... We've got some pretty good stuff out there. It's like 20 minutes worth of awesome content. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much. Like, I learned loads of stuff there. I know if you did, but... Yeah, yeah tons. Got some good tips. Hopefully you guys got some good tips Sorry, out there I'm as like... well. <laughs> Julie? Yes, yeah. please, Do you have any... Do you have any questions that you want to ask? <laughs> any questions you want to ask Cece about... Pretty much everything that I was going to ask was kind of answered. I feel like I'll show you mine. So on my Instagram. Do you, want to, do you want to do it on hers so it comes up on oh, the screen? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was. That's works. a great idea. Oh, you're so on my. Look at that. Oh, that? Magic. Magic. I said. I said. By plan. Okay. So my Instagram is like squirrel on crack. It's like I love taking <laughs> pictures of everything and anything I do all the time. I'm high energy and it should kind of show so in my uh, my pictures. If you guys haven't met Julie yet, she literally is like a squirrel on crack. Mm -hmm. She will bounce around like what? all the time. Squirrel foot. That's so <laughs> um, Anywho, do you have any suggestions for me on? how I can place these better. Because I feel like I love taking pictures in the moment and showing what I'm up to. But in a way, I feel like there could be a way to strategize it so that they What's well, interesting, better. with like what you just said then, I don't know if you agree with this, Cece, but like these pictures here, which is the, the one with the balls, which is a lot of fun. I mean, that looks ace. I love that. <laughs> but these three here are quite busy pictures. Yeah. And this one in the middle is not as busy, right? Okay. So like looking at that, that one, that picture there, that jumps out to me straight away. Would you say the same? I might just be making this up. Yeah, no, but that's true. Because um, mm. there's colors all over the place. Everything's all over the place. That's true. Here, I feel like it almost looks good because everything's in Switzerland and all the colors are kind of similar because yeah. of the, the snow. So I just uh, yeah, have a hard time kind of keeping a layout. Uh, look. 
are you uh, taking the pictures and then like wanting to post them or are you having like a thought behind it when you're taking it like you want to write something and then you want to post it and have a picture of adding to that mm. okay. you, you see any difference yeah I do. are you just like taking a picture in the moment and then like you want to post it kind of yeah okay because yeah. what because what i do is normally like like this picture was taken in the moment and i was like oh i have nothing to write with this picture so yeah. i just left it empty uh but then again like um let's see like this picture yeah i actually had something Ooh, nice to up. yeah <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> i actually had something to say and then i my I imagination created this picture what i wanted to post with the text Mm. Uh, so then I knew, kind of knew what I wanted to create, what I wanted it to look like, and then it's much easy, easier to have it match in your feed. So you're kind of planning it ahead of time, Yes, right? sort of, but like some things is not really planned. Like these ones are two green pictures next to each other, and like I have no idea what I'm going to post next in my feed. Yeah, you're just going to see what comes yeah, up. Yeah, like I need some material first oh, and then I'm going to okay. match everything together. That's all, like what I normally do is that I take a lot of pictures and then I find the ones that I like and then I match text with that because normally I have something to say with my pictures. Sure. Uh, or really or the though, opposite right? way around. Like. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, um, what were we just saying? Sorry, the camera cut out. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so you were saying with the picture on your, the one that you didn't like, the one from the airport? Yeah, what you I don't like this picture, Yeah. Uh, because the background is, it's happening way too much in the background, my Easy. mom, yeah, took like a million pictures, <laughs> <laughs> they were so bad, this one is actually blurry, and, oh, uh, yeah, but here I actually had something to tell before. Like a story to tell? Yeah, because I was leaving the country, I wanted people to know that I'm going to be gone yeah, for... Yeah, like Sweden, I'm out. Was that yeah, Sweden or Finland? Finland? Yeah. Okay, yeah. When you're in uh, yeah, well, anyways, so I had something to tell, so I had uh, the text written already, what I wanted to tell, but then I needed a picture. Yeah, and you didn't have time because you're in the airport to make a picture perfect like you yeah. wanted, so you just had to get one that your mum yeah. snapped because it would be relevant, Exactly. Right? Um, That's pretty much what I do. Just yeah. take it. Just on, yes. the, on the go. Yeah. But then to neutralize that, I'm trying to take like these pictures and add them in between that are super bright and simple. Okay. And these ones. And Which are the black and white ones, yeah. Yeah. Well, you go, Just this one. Do you go looking for places to take those pictures to neutralize it? Or are you taking something from your phone from before to neutralize it to balance that out? Uh, I'm actually kind of doing it on the go. Like this one. I actually again had something to tell, like you see the text is really long, Yeah. and I was like, hmm, what picture do I match with this? Yeah. And then I was like, okay, well, the selfie works, because yeah. that's, actually this is about, like, this is Swedish, but it's about how uh, different it is to live in mm. India compared to Finland. Mm. I imagine it's a little different. Yes, little and different. like, the best picture actually that I wanted to have here was from us filling the water bottles, uh, the buckets with hot water that we showered in because oh, we had wow. to carry buckets of hot water if we wanted to shower in hot water. Like like a pail of water you had to carry at home with you? Like how far did you have to well, walk? Wow. 50 meters. Oh my <laughs> god, 50 meters. Ah, sorry, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. 50 yeah. minutes. So actually that would have been the perfect picture. Actually like a badass pictures of us like carrying the buckets yeah. with water. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. instead I was like, okay, well my feet need, need something bright right now. And then I we had this beautiful uh, simple white t-shirts and I found a white wall cool so I was like okay well this is perfect that makes a lot of sense so you, you're doing it two ways you're kind of when you've got something to say you're going and you're like okay what does my feed look like what yeah. do I need next yeah. I need a white picture yeah. you go and find a white wall you take a picture or sometimes you'll be like okay so here's 20 pictures I took a week and a half ago I need something that's going to be colorful and impactful which of my pictures out of those fit that and fit what yeah. I want to say and also um, uh, back to this picture again sure. I actually had this text written down months before. Oh, really? So and I actually, out. yeah, and I actually had another picture uh, that I was gonna post with this, but then uh, as when I was gonna post it, that other picture is with me being naked in the forest. Oh, okay. And this was sixth January, and I was gonna leave Finland. Uh -huh. Like in Finland, this this is what it looked like in Finland at this time. It was super snowy. So yeah. first of all, putting a picture with green trees was gonna be weird. Yeah, right. And Tiny also, much. I was gonna go to like here, India and Thailand, 
and that was going to be a lot of green pictures and from the ocean and the nature and everything. Mm -hmm. So then I wanted a picture with snow. Yeah, because it, it's like what was going on in Finland. Like yeah. That. Otherwise, you post like this: "I'm leaving Finland. Here's a green picture." And exactly. I was like, "What are you doing?" It's yeah, snowing. like that's not that that's not taken in Finland. Yeah. So you have to think moment. about like who your audience is, who yes, you're actually sending the information. And to. also that I was first in the snow, and then I'm at the airport, and then I'm in the heat in right. India. Like it's a nice you get that story. And going. I guess, and I guess in your feed as well, it kind of transitions that way as well. And and this is going to be great for people who are doing travel Instagram posts, I guess, because you've got. Yeah. Say, for example, you're in Thailand and you're on the beach and there's all these like nice, sandy, warm, bright colors. And then you go from Thailand to somewhere like back to America where it's like snowy or something. And you're almost going to have a change in your feed because yeah. it's a change of where you're at location wise. And uh, uh, when I'm going back home to Stockholm or to Finland, uh, I'm going to be on this super, super long flight back home. And then I actually wanted like a picture from inside of the flight but since I'm traveling alone I'm not going to be able to actually take a good picture of that when I'm going yeah, back home like, peering out the window, like asking like, yeah exactly like ask asking, a stranger, asking, asking take a stranger a like an old woman taking a picture that's not going to be yeah they picture, suck right they no. like point it downwards so I, and so I actually had when we were leaving from the ashram from uh, my yoga teacher training I had a friend with me in the plane so before everyone was in the plane I just asked her to like hold my GoPro like yeah. I was like can you hold it here just press that button and hold it and I just did some poses and That's then cool. so then I'm gonna see uh, if that material if I can like screenshot that or you yeah, like get a clip like, from when because no one knows which flight it is mm -hmm. that I'm taking like they could it's just a flight it's right? just a flight like from the inside it looks pretty much the same cool so then I can screenshot that and use that edit that picture more brighter and then I might use that in my feed just to make sure that people know that I'm traveling again. Yeah, that's but really this cool. this time I'm traveling back home. Yeah, you're going that way. But yeah. pictures from before, right? Yeah. By the way, if you guys didn't know, Cece just finished her like yoga teacher training in India, which is partly the reason she's talking about all this ashram stuff, which yeah. I had no idea what it was before, but yeah. pretty cool, right? Like yeah. doing, doing all the yoga stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, that's kind of like pretty much everything I was going to ask. Should we the... talk about uh, your feed? Yeah, sure. let's, let's, let's use advice. Julie's as an example. And after that, do you want to jump onto my feed and give me some advice for mine as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we I can blast try. through it. Like, this is really weird, though, because I honestly don't know what I'm talking about. But well, that's okay. Fine. We're all just figuring it out together. Yeah. We're learning. That's cool. Uh, so one thing that... Uh, the first thing that I'm thinking about is the quality of the pictures. And that's uh, that these ones uh, are not really sharp. Mm. Or they are, but... I think it's something with the brightness that they look like yeah. a bit grainy. Yeah, like that. That was the thing that I was uh, talking about. Like when you make the pictures brighter, that yeah. you don't want them to look like you have oh. something on your camera. Like, like a like a grainy filter over the top. Yeah, like that. It's yeah, a grainy filter or whatever. It looks some and uh, this one as well. It's um. So this is this is white noise, right? So when you uh, and this is down to light because I was reading up about this on the other day. So when you have natural light, and you can probably know this from yeah. your photography background, if you have a natural light uh, that's coming Not from you, yeah. So if you like, um, if you bring in natural light, then the natural light catches you from a better angle, right? So um, if you are in, say, like a dark room in a corner and there's not much natural light, then you can't pick up as much. The camera can't pick up as much. So the, the, the picture and the video that you're taking actually becomes more grainy. You get more white noise in it. Whereas if you're in soft natural light, which some people with YouTube videos make it artificial, they have these kits that shoots the light on. You've seen those, right? But actually the easiest way is just to go either in the evening where the light's quite soft, maybe just before sunset, around about five o'clock, or yeah. early on in the morning, eight or nine o'clock in the morning. But the sunlight is a lot softer, so when you put it onto you, it's not gonna be as, you know, it's not as intense as if you try to take a video at 12 o'clock and it's like, like shooting you in the face, right? That's bad, don't cool. do that. Okay, so back to your pictures. Okay. Um, the thing that I would also do is that when you're shooting these pictures, it's all about angle. So this one, um, could oh, maybe some, yeah yeah. Some <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. like when you're taking it you could have taken like the background here to be mm, like more of this the background and not the greeny crazy part to make it more like simple in yeah. the background yeah like make the background more simple like okay and also just here cut out the black stuff and just use the text oh okay. crop it so it's just yeah crop all it white. so it's just all white okay that would help a lot okay um yeah, well, these ones with a lot of people are hard, um, but just add in more pictures uh, that are super bright. 
and try to somehow here also with all the food pictures you could actually it's not uh, here you could try to how to do I explain this? Take a like with uh, a better angle and with just like super uh, like wide background, like all the food pictures. Like even it's of course it's hard not mm -hmm. to do that, but make it brighter and more more colorful. Like here also with my pictures. Like this is not a wide background. Yes, that was funny. So the other day when we were taking the top-down food picture, you we had the mats down, and I, I was like, oh, the mats look really cool because it like looks like a proper authentic. And you yeah. looked at it above, and you were like, oh no, it looks shit with the mats. Took the mats out, and yeah. then on the background it had that sort of black it was super against the white and lighter colors. So yeah. It's more simple, right? Less yeah. going on. Mm. Uh, okay. Where are you there? Um, don't post pictures like this. So because it's, it's hard very, for me, got very low light. <laughs> it's hard for me because I like to show true authenticity, oh, yeah. and that's one thing I do have a problem with with a lot of Instagram feeds. Is that to me, like relating it even to the fitness industry, the fitness industry is so fake in a way when you look at these pictures sure. on magazines and the, the, everything that went into getting that picture yeah. is not what that picture really is. That's right. not real life. So with pictures I find that I'd like to capture authentic moments. Sure. So, so this is this is interesting because like going me. back going back again to what we talked about on the day one of the challenge, one thing that we tried to focus on was to have a have a niche. We spoke about this the other yeah. day, right? About trying to, when I was talking to Julie, we, we were struggling between fitness and travel and you know healthiness yeah. and mindfulness, which is all stuff that you're interested in. Yeah. And you want to help people with. But and the trouble is nomad. and digital nomad, <laughs> like we got five things there, right? For oh, just yeah, one account. Smart. And the trouble when you have so much going on is it's really hard to be very, very focused on just Squirrel doing on one thing, right? Mm -hmm. Squirrel on crack. Mm -hmm. So I think what Cece's saying on stuff like this, so for example, this is a picture of you, I guess, hanging out with one of your friends or something, right? My dad. Oh, it's your dad? I can, I can, I didn't really look at it. <laughs> Obviously, your dad looks like a very young gentleman because I wouldn't have complimented him otherwise, right? Go dad. But yeah, so for example, that picture there is, is great and it's a great memory for you to share, but it's probably not one for your business profile. So yeah. that's where we talked about the other day. Uh, you want to post these profile. pictures, you know, have a have a personal profile and a business profile. And like Cece says, she'll look at a picture sometimes and be like, I love that picture, yeah. but does it tie into my feed? Does it tie into my niche of what I'm trying to target? Yes, no, do I post it? And choosing that yeah. kind of strategic, you know, I love that picture. And, and that's what I do in my personal account now. Like I post all the pictures I want to post on my personal account, I just bang them up there. I don't put any hashtags. I don't give a fuck about that on my personal profile. I just want to put a cool picture up yeah. and be like, oh, that was a cool memory. Just ignore it. Sorry, Adam. We're cutting you off, man. So, yeah, so that's so that's sometimes that's, that might be a good idea. So, making sure, so you're saying to make sure that the pictures are consistent in the quality. So, you don't have some where your front, front camera selfie, some on the back one where one looks worse than the other. Try and keep the quality consistent. Yeah. Try and keep the color so consistent. So, what I would do instead with this picture would be uh, finding a good, just like a white wall and taking a selfie instead with like a cozy cup or okay. whatever is in your hand and like okay. including everything but the fact that the picture actually maybe doesn't have to be taken in the moment like you can just like like enjoy your fucking life and like enjoy <laughs> everything this is a big point but right? just like take the picture in the morning next day at the hotel just like wear your had and take a empty cup of coffee. Yeah, grab so that. Hey, Dad, that. come with me. We're gonna take a <laughs> selfie. Yeah, like yeah. if you want him in there, just like bring him to a white wall where it's good light. Like in the morning, just open yeah. the curtains, not with the sun shining in, but just like with that yeah, natural, natural light. light, and take a selfie with good quality. Uh, and like you can still be in that cozy <laughs> hat in like or yeah. with a cozy blanket. Like bring that in the picture, but it doesn't have to be in the moment because also then you can in actually enjoy the moment wh when it lasts. No, that's a very and good And don't point. have your phone with you. Because also, like, I love the fact that you want to post, like, authentic pictures yeah, and, like, in the moment right? and stuff. But also then you're not actually enjoying the moment. So then that's just, very like... very true. Because yeah. that's what I do. Like, I know what I want to tell. Yeah, like, I'm soon going to post a picture with a really nice, hilarious story. But I haven't even taken the picture because in the moment I was just so... Like in the enjoying moment, the moment, enjoying that yeah. hilarious thing. This is, do you want to share this story because it's actually hilarious? It's actually hilarious. So uh, on Kolanta, where we are, there's one main road 
and we were in the middle going to the south at the island three girls on a scooter or like on two scooters and we got lost so there's so there's one road <laughs> you turn right or you turn left and they wanted to go left and which way did you go we went left you went left and then left and again, we and then ended left up we were gonna go to the south in on the island like as far down as you can come and we just drove we drove straight we we went to the right direction and then everything started to look familiar and I was like wait I think we gotta stop like where the hell are we and then when we looked at the map we were up at the north of the island as far up as you can come and we honestly the three of us thought that we were down at the bottom that's terrible and three girls honestly not a sense of direction <laughs> between you I mean, you, you, oh my god! It's you know one what? main road on this island. We were in the middle. We only had to choose left or right, and we got lost. Yeah, I mean, it would have been better if you were a man, because you'd have been like, "Should we ask for directions?" And the guy would have been like, "No, I'm not asking for directions. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going." So it wouldn't have been any better either way. Yeah. But you're gonna post that one soon. Yeah. So uh, instead of uh, like the girls I was driving with actually left this island and are they gone? Yeah, they're gone. They're not here, so I cannot take a picture with them, and we. Yeah, we filmed some stuff on the GoPro, but that I want to have in the video, and that's not going to be that good of a picture sure. to put on my feed as well. Like, GoPro okay. pictures aren't that good to post on your feed, sorry. Uh, because there's a lot of things happening in yeah, the background, right. which is Lots good. Going on. Yeah, it's so good in a video, but for a picture, it's not. So instead, I'm going to have someone like you or you taking a picture of me on my super cute scooter with my pink helmet and. I'm gonna post that instead. It's very pink. With okay. the story. Yeah. Okay, with the plan. Yeah. yeah. So then I actually had an amazing moment and an amazing day, but I posted it like two weeks later because no one yeah. knows actually yeah. when I Yeah, did that makes that sense. Thing. And then you'll I guess you'll probably yeah. tie it into when you want it to look good in your feed as well, right? Because you've got the yeah. bright picture, the pink and all that. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, if you've got lots of white going on you can be like got yeah. that shit. But the white pictures, like if it's a uh, uh, like with the road in the background or something that's not really colorful colorful cool. then i can actually post it whenever because it's bright brilliant then i'm not gonna like sit here and be like oh should i post it today or this yeah picture before that makes sense uh yeah okay so we've got five more minutes before my sd card runs out of memory so do you want to quickly okay. review my page and oh see yeah that was, yeah, yeah yeah so let's get jobless oh you got it up already yes all right guys I'm, I'm very bad at taking constructive criticism, so I'll try you not to... You are? Yeah, I'll try not to go like... Are you going to be mad? Yeah, I might like cry a bit, I don't know, we'll see. We'll um... see how it goes. I'm just kidding, I'm not, I'm not that bad. Call you a wambulance. A wambulance. So, um, so just to defend my profile here, because uh, I only really started taking this seriously when we started the challenge, and, and that was around about 15, what's that, 21 days ago now? Three weeks ago? So a lot of the pictures that you'll see way down in my feed, which are the ones you're looking at now. This is a good picture, giving yeah. you some positive feedback Thank now you. before Thank so you, you don't hate me. Yeah, Copenhagen <laughs> is a lovely, a lovely place. Um, but it'd be good to get feedback on the top of my feed here, because okay, yeah, okay. on the top of the feed is where I've been taking it seriously. So basically this one I know doesn't fit in, but I dropped that in to try to grab people's attention about the day challenge. That one? Yeah. You could have done it a little bit more differently because now it just looks like spam. Yeah, right. Now I'll probably get rid of it towards the end, but I just want yeah. to drop it in there. Um, you could have done only like um, the upper part or the down part, but not both of them. Yeah, not uh, both ones. together. Yeah, like some sort of like nice text or something. Maybe just like all white with just the text in or something. Yeah, or something yeah. that could like that's what I did here. Um, when I had like this lovely quote, like here I've done it, and okay. there, yeah. uh, just like a white picture with a quote. That's yeah. what I meant also with your picture with a quote, like yeah. make it white with the text. Ah. So noisy. You could have done Help. that. Um, yeah, so go for one or the other, so either make it yeah, all the, the purple color. This thing actually looks like like uh, spam or something. Yeah, right? I know or like saying. super cheap marketing. Yeah. Like, like terrible design. Yeah. yeah. I, like, no, but it, no, oh my god, no, it's good, but it's lo it looks Shit. like... I'm just kidding, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, this looks like spam, what is that? It's terrible, outrageous. Who the hell's page is this? Oh, it's mine. My bad. Sorry, guys. I'm an expert, I swear. He's already mad. I just, oh, I, I said I wasn't going to get like this. I, uh, sorry, carry on. If, carry on. If, if you just shut up and I just talk. Oh, hold me back. Yeah. Hold me back, Julie. Hold me back, I swear.
Okay, right. yeah. No, but um, this picture is actually good. It's super bright. Which picture is this? Oh, this is the one from Maya Bay, right? Okay, that one. I honestly don't think I'll ever get pictures as good as Maya Bay ever again. Like, yeah. they were incredible. Yeah. That beach was just insane. So that's good. So that's the one with my hands out. You like that yeah. one? Yeah. Um, but here you got like three pictures the similar next, next to each other. Also, sure. you have a lot of sunsets. I know that you know that you have sunset. Make them brighter though, because this one uh, looks like a little dark. dark. Yeah. Like you don't even look at the sunset because you're just like, what the hell is that dark thing? Sure. You know? so, yeah. So this is interesting because what I was trying to do with it was make them bright and dark as a variety. But you're saying actually it would look better even though there's sunsets in the evening to make them more brighter. Yeah. Was that like that one, for example? Is that all right, or is that second one? Well? This, uh, these two here are good. Yeah, I didn't take those pictures. That's why they're really good. No. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's fine, so don't worry about it. Um, and like these ones where you, where you have, I don't know how to explain this, but when you see like the palm tree sure. super clearly, and also here with mine, uh, the sunset picture, I made sure, actually chose a picture where you can see the palm, palm you can tree. see them clearly. The tree is really clearly, because uh, then you've got that... So loud, so loud. Uh, but here, in these ones, they just look dark. So these are the darker pictures. So actually, darker isn't necessarily good, right? No. Okay, so what, what should I do for my next pictures that I post then? Because I need to post some more. Where are you going? Where am I going? Uh, to hell, probably. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, uh, so I'm going to go from here to go to Chiang Mai. Yeah. So I'm going to do an elephant sanctuary thing in the next couple of days. So that'll be cool. So I'll probably take a couple of pictures for the elephant sanctuary. Um, and then I might do some stuff out towards the mountains and stuff like that. But I don't know. I'll just kind of wing it and see what pictures I take. Uh, take bright pictures, bright pictures and make them a little bit more colorful. Mm -hmm. um, I like like this one here. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, the beach one. But these with the two next to each other, yeah. not good. So when you say not next to each other, so I should try and make say the next three pictures not colorful and then have this picture up one maybe, or would it look better on the left or right of that? Not next to it like that, and also just post if you're posting another picture, then they're not going to be next to each other again, so then it's fine. Uh -huh. So um, so would I, so if I posted a colorful picture here. Would I then have to wait, say, five pictures until I posted the next colorful one? Not think? five pictures, uh, maybe one or two. One or two, okay. Yeah, like that's what I'm trying yeah, so, to do. So it would be there instead, that would look better. So one to the right? But not next to that one. Not like... Kitty corner. Yeah, so where would you move that picture? Would you move it to the left, to the right, to up? Here, maybe. Yeah, move it to the left. Okay. Oh yeah, we're talking about this picture. Yeah, yeah picture. post it there or there. Yeah, so on gotcha. the left or right of it. Yeah, not directly okay. above the other one that's got the flowers in. Yeah. Okay, that um, sense. And also here. Yeah. The beach this one. picture could have been perfect with another angle. Right. That's the only thing that's wrong in this picture. The angle. Yeah, it's because I'm a bad photographer. But I get better. I'll get better. Yeah. Um, so what I would do, yeah, like take a bunch of pictures uh, in the nature. Sure. Uh, but mix it with simple pictures, okay. like on one flower, or like one mountain, or something, or like like minimal minimalistic. Yeah. Try to do Not it on busy. one thing, on one cup of coffee, or whatever. Just like if you're um, do working at some really nice place, uh -huh. take it like with only the computer and like a little bit of the background. A little bit of the background. Yeah, like try to make them super minimalistic and more bright colors. So make it brighter, a little bit more minimal, spread out the colorful yeah, but, stuff. Yeah, uh, but also try to try to match try to match the colors. Okay. Uh, like now when I'm here, I'm trying to post a couple of blue pictures because I know I'm going to be in the ocean, so then I'm going to be like a more bluish way. Uh, but here they're it's all green. green. You yeah. see, like it's slowly changing. Like here, it's gonna become more blue. Sure, I see that. Here it's more green. That's so more white. Here it's more white and like the bright colors. 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 Yeah, and here, like yeah, well, here it's just crazy. Yeah. But now I actually know that it's gonna be a bunch of ocean stuff. Yeah. There. So you're gonna have stuff with like blue backgrounds, the sky in the background, ocean yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. That was really helpful. Yeah. Was that good for you? I learned a lot. Thank and I only, you. I only like got angry a little bit like that was good yeah, like, really proud of you. super defensive or what i was like we speaking probably, loud we and should probably start going then like running if 
while he's closing up the camera so we can yeah. start running because you're gonna kill us when the camera is off, or mm. are you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I won't do that. But yeah, thanks so much for like doing this. It's really, yes. it's been really helpful for me. So I can only imagine like how helpful it is for everybody else. Oh, I hope so because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I think you do. I, yeah. Would you agree? I really do. You right? Do, yeah. You don't understand it. Like, give yourself a little more credit. Give yourself, <laughs> a, give yourself a little pat on the back. <laughs> you did a good job. That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys got loads of fun out of that. Uh, I got loads out of it. And so yeah, that's day ten. That's probably the best day of content I've had in a while to put out for you guys so I hope you get the most out of it uh, let's do a little bit of a challenge with this one so over the next sort of week or so if everybody can start to focus on their feed and trying to make their feed in a consistent style let's all comment on this video and say what kind of style we want our feed to be and then we can kind of keep each other in check and say hey Jamie I noticed that your feed you said it was going to be blue and, and bright and you've posted a dark picture you idiot don't do that in a nice way obviously <laughs> <laughs> really, really defensive. But yeah, let's let's do that. So everybody comment in the photos what they want their feed to look like in the next couple of days and let's kill it. Awesome. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>